Dr. Shinwari, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure to have you here on Health Connection. Our topic is lung cancer and perhaps a treatment breakthrough at last. An exciting new approach for treating lung cancer called uh, immunotherapy or involving immunotherapy. What is immunotherapy and how does it work? Well, immunotherapy is a fascinating new um, area of cancer research and uh, it's been you know, worked at for many, many years. And it actually exploits the body's own immune system to fight against the cancer. So with deeper understanding of the body's own immune system, um, uh, medical researchers have determined that um, if the body's immune system is turned on uh, against uh, recognizing cancer cells, which most of the time evade tumor uh, recognition, uh, will lead to better uh, uh, body's ability to fight the cancer cells. These immunotherapies actually um, do not kill the cancer cells directly, but they just turn on some of the inhibitions on the um, immune system of the body so that it can recognize the cancer cells more efficiently and mount a response to cause the cancer cells to be killed. Okay. New FDA approved drugs used in immunotherapy, as you just explained, utilize the body's own immune system to fight lung cancer. What promise do you see in these drugs and, and is immunotherapy currently being used here at UT Health Northeast? Absolutely. Um, immunotherapy has been used for the past few years against other cancers, more significantly melanoma, which is a very deadly skin cancer, and we've had very good results. So patients who have actually had no uh, hope of having any other treatment uh, are now, you know, living longer uh, with their disease under control. Some of them had actually a very good response. Now the same um, um, therapies have now been approved, at least one or two of them, for the non-small cell lung cancer, which collectively is the, uh, the greatest killer of all cancers uh, with breast, um, prostate, and colorectal cancers combined. Lung cancer is really the main uh, area of research and uh, with this new uh, therapy that has shown effective in this uh, study that we were just talking about um, has caused a lot of people to be very, very excited about this drug. Is it fair to say that immunotherapy is a game changer? I think it definitely has made a significant difference, but there is definitely more work to do. Um, we probably would, um, most, most of those lung cancer patients with advanced disease are much better off today uh, or just maybe a couple of months ago than they were just six months ago. So definitely there is a significant improvement and a lot of excitement about where to take it from here uh, to the next level. Lung cancer diagnosis was at one time just essentially a, a death sentence. These targeted approaches currently used treating lung cancer. Describe the outcomes that patients are experiencing now. Well, lung cancer, we'll talk about the advanced lung cancer that has spread um, outside the, uh, the area of the lung uh, to the rest of the body. Those patients actually have a very dismal prognosis. Uh, almost 4% of the patients are alive at five years who have been diagnosed with advanced lung cancer. Now, and the treatment options are very limited. If they progress after the first round of treatments, um, then there's hardly anything that's gonna stop that cancer growth. With this new drugs, uh, especially immunotherapy, which has been uh, recruited uh, in this particular area, those patients are doing a lot better. People who had uh, absolutely no options are now having good responses, living longer uh, with, with their disease under control. So I think this is fascinating. You mentioned survival rate. Uh, what is the current survival rate for a patient diagnosed with lung cancer, and does immunotherapy show potential for improvement of that rate? Uh, absolutely. The, uh, the survival is divided into what stage the, the patients are diagnosed. If we just focus on the advanced stage, the survival at one year is probably um, very, very low. Uh, most patients um, with lung cancer uh, would die um, at one year mark. In other words, 50% of the patients are not alive a, a year after their diagnosis of advanced lung cancer. Okay. Smoking's most often cited as the cause for lung cancer diagnosis, but lung cancer does occur in people who have never smoked. Does immunotherapy have the same potential for successfully treating lung cancers that aren't tied to smoking? It probably will, but it's too early to tell. Now, most of those patients who have uh, no history of smoking probably have some secondary hand smoke exposure or environmental factors that might have contributed to them developing the cancer. But in true non-smokers with no other causes, there are um, uh, 
reports that show that they actually do better than patients who are smokers because they sometimes have uh, targeted therapies. They have targets that are positive on their tumor um, assessments and they are qualified for some of those treatments. For example, we have targeted therapies uh, against epidermal growth factor receptor and if they are positive, most of those patients who are non-smokers turn out to be positive and they have very good response. Same thing can be uh, said about the immunotherapy in those patients. What potential do you see for immunotherapy in treating other types of cancer? I think it's showing uh, uh, results in other cancers. Um, there was a study um, recently um, from John Hopkins where they uh, used immunotherapy for um, endometrial cancers, gastric cancers, and renal cell cancers, and they've shown good results. So I think the same philosophy is being applied to other solid tumors as well, and there are some encouraging results coming up. Well, let's segue into this last question. Where do you see the role of immunotherapy going in the next few years? I think it'll be um, most likely be employed uh, more and more. I, I see that this is probably going to be the backbone of uh, uh, the main cancer therapy with other therapies um, added upon this um, backbone. For example, we can add chemotherapy on top of this or targeted therapies in addition to immunotherapy to get the maximum benefit uh, to those patients who have advanced cancer. All right. Well, doctor, thank you very much for your time. My pleasure.